Hey everybody, this is Key here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so for this video, it's going to be a simple heads up video. I just wanted to make you aware of this edition and the remarkable price that it's going for at the moment on Amazon Italy. Now, I picked this up myself two months ago and I was meant to do a video on it then, but unfortunately, it just fell around, it was around Christmas when I got it. And uh, I took a break uh, from YouTube at Christmas and uh, I actually kind of forgot about it. And it's only when I went on to Amazon Italy there a couple of days ago and realized that not only is it still at a remarkable price, but it was actually cheaper than when I got it. So I felt right now would be the right time to make you aware of this. And of course, I will leave the link in the description below if you do want to go out and check it out. So the movie, the collection that I'm talking about is the Hunger Games uh, Steelbook collection. And it comes in there. It's a 4K collection as well. And it comes in this beautiful looking box set. Now, I know people are going to cringe at the thought of me showing the Hunger Games uh, franchise on my channel. And uh, I have to admit, I have not seen the movies myself. Uh, one of the reasons to why I haven't seen them is because I felt I got a kind of a Twilight vibe from these movies. You know, that whole love triangle bullshit. And uh, it just kind of pumped me off watching these movies. But it's only when I got this set in my hands, I took a gamble on it. And it's only when I got this set on my, in my hands and I realized some of the, ta the talent that's behind these movies, uh, when it comes to acting that is, like you have, um, I see Woody Harrelson there, you have Luke Hemsworth, uh, Lenny Kravitz is there as well. Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman's in them as well. It's, it's uh, Julianne Moore. There is a great cast behind these movies. And I have to admit, I started getting a little bit intrigued. And I'm kind of hoping that maybe it'll be more like the Maze Runner movies than the Twilight movies, because I actually quite enjoyed the Maze Runner movies, so I'm hoping it is going to be something similar to that. To that. Uh, fingers crossed it will be. So, yes, this set is going on Amazon Italy as we speak, uh, and it's going for €46. Euro. I got mine for just a little over 50 I think it was around 55 so it's actually cheaper than when I got it. And I have to tell you, folks, €46. Euro uh, for four movies on 4K and the Steelbooks are extraordinary. Uh, I can't wait to take you around them and show, uh, show you the Steelbooks. The Steelbooks are beautiful. And another reason to why I didn't pick this set up sooner, and maybe it was a blessing in disguise, but anyone that's aware of the Indiana Jones 4K Steelbook collection that came out there a while back, uh, I thought this set was going to be very similar to that Indiana Jones uh, edition. I thought the steelbooks were going to be very poor. I thought the box set was going to be incredibly flimsy, just like that Indiana Jones set. But then someone in the comment section let me know. They were like, you know what, Kate, you have nothing to worry about. The box is nice and solid. I think you're going to be happy with it. And uh, I took a gamble on it, and he was absolutely right. This, it's incredibly nice, solid, hard box on this one. Uh, the steelbooks are beautifully housed in it, and like I said, the steelbooks themselves, uh, they are astonishing. So again, folks, just a simple heads up on this one. I'm going to leave it in the description below, the link to it. Go over and check it out before they are gone, or before it goes back up in price. Because I think when this first came out, it was over €100, Euro, which is... Uh, it is crazy money. It is uh, for a steelbook box set like the Hunger Games. Uh, not kind of not dissing the actual franchise itself. I'm hoping I do enjoy it. But I just thought maybe 110 euro for this set might have been a bit too much. But 46 euro is honestly a remarkable price. And I think you should go over and snap it up while it's there now. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take is around this collection. I'm going to show you exactly uh, what the steelbooks look like. I think you guys are going to really like these ones. So uh, yeah. Let's get to it. Right, so here we go. The Hunger Games 4K Steelbook Collection. And uh, this is the artwork for it. Now, it's not the best looking artwork I've ever seen when it comes to an edition like this. But it does come in, like I said, in a lovely solid box, uh, which was a, a welcome addition to this collection. So you've got uh, Jennifer Lawrence there in the middle. You've got uh, Liam's, Liam Hensworth there as well. Woody Harrelson. Uh, you've also got Lenny Kravitz down uh, the bottom right corner there as well. So uh, yeah, it's just showing you a couple of characters that you do see in the, through this entire uh, franchise. So uh, yeah, that is the uh, the main cover. Then I'll take us onto the spine of it. And uh, you've just got all the names of the movies there. And of course, you've got the Hunger Games written on the top. And then right around to the back, and this is your J card. I will remove this now in a second. So uh, this is an Amazon Italy edition. So um, a lot of the writing on top here will be in Italian, of course. Uh, but then at the bottom here is a close look at some of the technical aspects. So if you do want to pause them, uh, please do check it out. So, uh, right, that is the J card. So I'm going to just try and remove this without any issues, hopefully. 
Uh, I think we should be okay. There we go. And right onto the artwork we go on the back. And again, it's just more of the characters that you see uh, through this franchise. You got Donald Sunderland up there. Uh, you got Philip uh, Seymour Hoffman there as well. And uh, you got, um, uh, oh my God, it's Julianne Moore. I nearly forgot her name there. So uh, yeah, quite a decent cast uh, for this franchise. So that is the artwork on the back. And uh, it's ring on the top. You've got the Hunger Games written on the top there. And uh, just credits there on the bottom. And then take us around to the spine of it. And there you go. As you can see, it kind of makes that sigil. Now, again, bear in mind, I have not seen these movies. I don't know the significance behind it. Uh, but I will find out in time. So if there's parts of this uh, set that I don't know, you know, the significance of a certain thing, uh, apologies for that. So, uh, yeah, that's the spines. And again, as you can see, they do sit in there quite nicely. So, right, that is the actual box set itself. So let's get on to looking at the steelbooks. Right, so up first we have got the Hunger Games, of course. And uh, just check out the colour scheme on the steelbook. Now it has a high gloss finish on it. Uh, there's no spot glossing or embossing or debossing going on. But the, the print of the picture in particular I think looks amazing. And again, going back to that colour scheme, uh, it, it's one of those things when you kind of bend it against the light, it just looks amazing and it almost looks three dimensional. Uh, it just looks that good. So uh, yeah, I was... I was really surprised by how, how all of these steelbooks look, every single one of them. As a matter of fact, it almost gets better and better uh, as the movies go on. And uh, I can't wait to show you them. So that is the first steelbook, the artwork anyway. And then again, I'll just take us to the spine of it. So you have the Hunger Games, you have number one written there as well. And then right around to the back. Now, the thing about this collection is the other three movies, the backings make up a map, which I will show at the end of it. And uh, these are all the districts that they're basically showing on the uh, the first the back of this first steelbook. So uh, this will make a bit more sense once I show you at the end what the steelbooks themselves do. So, uh, right, open it up. And this is the inside artwork that you get. Very, very colourful. Uh, this entire set is incredibly colourful. So uh, you got your 4K disc there. And you've got your Blu-ray disc. There we go. And that is the inside artwork. So there you have it, folks. That is the first steelbook, and that is The Hunger Games. Right, so up next, Catching Fire. <laughs> Catching Fire, indeed. Check out this steelbook. Uh, this is hands down the best steelbook in this set. And that's saying something, because it really is. The steelbooks are beautiful. So uh, check out this color scheme on this. Again, looks perfect. Uh, when you kind of bend the light against the uh, steelbook itself, the flames just kind of just, they almost just light up. Uh, so yeah, brilliant. Great picture on this as well. The print of it looks beautiful. And uh, I have no issues. And it's identical to the last steelbook as well, where it's just a high gloss finish. So right onto the spine we go. And there you go. You got your catching fire and you have number two there at the bottom. And then right around to the back. And here we go. This is the start of the map. And like I said, I will show this all together. Uh, when I finish showing the last steelbook that is so it will make a bit more sense so right open it up and this is the inside artwork so you have your 4k disc and then onto your blu-ray which is that one there and this is the inside artwork and as you can see the right side is upside down so that's uh, that's very different and I kind of like it so there we go, that is the Catching Fire Steelbook. Right, so on to Mockingjay Part 1. Now the one thing I will say about this collection is all the steelbooks look very, very different. This one kind of has a kind of a real paint looking effect, uh, which looks beautiful, it really, really does. So you have Jennifer uh, Lawrence there on the cover and her grabbing an arrow there, as you can see. And uh, yeah, it's very similar to the, uh, the previous two steelbooks, just a high gloss finish. And uh, yeah, looks great. And again, that colour scheme just looks, um, it just looks fantastic. So uh, right onto the spine we go. And then right around to the back and it's a bit more of this map. So open it up. And this is your, actually I love the artwork on this uh, 4K disc, check this out. Uh, it looks great. And that is your 4K disc. And then you have your Blu-ray disc. And then this is the inside artwork for uh, Mockingjay Part 1. So there you have it, folks. That is the 
third steelbook in this. So on to Mockingjay Part 2. Right, so here we go, the last steelbook, and this is Mockingjay Part 2. So as you can see, uh, you have Jennifer Lawrence there again, uh, and when you kind of bend the light against this steelbook, you can actually notice that the arrow almost lights up if you actually see it there. Look at that. Uh, it does look quite amazing. And anyone that's aware of my channel as well, you just have to know red and black. I just love that colour scheme and uh, the falling yellow leaves is actually quite a nice touch. So there's quite a bit going on in the steelbook when it comes to colour. And uh, like I said at the start of this video, it's just a very colourful uh, looking sesh. And uh, yeah, I honestly can't praise it enough. So right on to the spine we go. And there you go, you got your Mockingjay Part 2 and then you got number 4 written there. And then, of course, this is the last piece of uh, the map itself. And then open it up, and this is your discs. So you have your uh, 4K disc there. And then that is your Blu-ray disc. And that lastly brings us into the artwork inside the steelbook. So there you have it, folks. That is everything when it comes to this uh, collection. Now, the last thing I have to do, of course, is show you is the actual map itself, which I'm going to do right now. So here we go. I'm going to just bring them in and uh, give you exactly what you look, give you a good look at what this map actually looks like when you actually connect all the steel books. So there you have it, folks. That is the actual map and. That is the first steelbook uh, of Hunger Games. And again, it's just showing all the districts that you kind of see uh, on the back of uh, the steelbooks. So there you have it, folks. That is the four steelbooks. And um, I honestly can't praise this collection enough. And again, I hope it does come across on the camera how beautiful this all looks. And uh, I honestly think it's worth picking up. Uh, it's If you haven't seen the movies, I think it's worth the gamble. Uh, hopefully it pays off. Right folks, so there you have it. Just a very, very simple video here. I just wanted to make you aware of this edition. And again, the link is in the description below. If you are interested, go across and check it out yourselves. Uh, I honestly can't praise that price enough. I think it's quite remarkable considering there was actually steelbooks out there that I came close to paying 46 quid for just for one movie. So uh, just bear that in mind as well when you're actually picking this set up. It's, um, it's a fantastic price. It really, really is. So there you go, folks. There you have it. So that is everything that I'm going to show for this video. So as per usual, if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below. And please do share your thoughts on these movies and what am I getting into with them. And yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.